Hey guys, Josh Carter, James Bush. We're uh, here to test a new product that we uh, come out with for the Hobie Pro Angler 12. So stay tuned, we'll show you what we got. Alright guys, like I said, we've got a new product for the Hobie uh, Pro Angler 12. We've had a lot of people asking uh, since we've gotten into the bow mount market for these kayaks. Yep. So we finally come up with one. We was able to finally get our hands on a Hobie uh, 12. Uh, thank, thank, thanking a good customer of ours. Um, so we was able to get that. And also just kind of want to cover real quick for, for people that are, are under, learning more about one objective. We actually got a the bow mount, I mean the stern mount for the PA12. It'll fit the PA12 now. We, we were doing it for the 14 and we made some modifications. So now it will work on the Pro Angler 12. So if you're in the market for a stern mount and interested in a bow mount, I'll have a link below on that. So and this works with Torquedo and everything like that where you can have your power pole in line with your trolling motor. This one's set up for a Minkota, but we you can use the 1103, the 403, and what it does is it tilts your motor this way, gets it out of line, keeps it from hanging off the back of the boat so far. Yeah, and it comes off super easy. You got your pins here. If you haven't heard of our mounts, this that's kind of one of the perks of our mounts is you know, you can take it off really quickly. So, but anyways, we're gonna get back to the bow mount. But um, just kind of wanted to go over that. But here we're gonna go do we're gonna go do some testing with it. Um, we just want to see what kind of speeds we get. We know the mount will hold up, with no problem. We just want to see you know um, speeds we get and, and actually just how how well the boat handles it. Well, I know it'll probably handle well. It's a it's a freaking Hobie. So yeah. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and show you the mount. So here is the uh, mount for the PA12. The 14's coming. Um, it, I want to say what James, maybe another week, two weeks, something like that. Maybe yeah. Hope, hopefully, hopefully a week. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it's easy to take on and off. You got your, you get your quick release plate, uh, from motor guide. Um, you can be able to pull this off, take your motor right off of there. It's simple. I mean, what on our install video, you might, it might take you maybe 10 minutes at the most. Yeah. I'd say 10 five. minutes, 10 minutes. If you, if you're playing around. Yeah. Yeah that's you trying to get your tools together and everything so um it doesn't hurt anything here now look yes you can't open it up while this is deployed but you can still get in there a little bit but if you got it open you want to get into it you still can everything's still functional there um and if you need to get into it while it's on your boat and so it's easy to to put it down but it's so simple to take the motor off if, you know yeah if you need to which i i would recommend if you go on long trips take your motor off put it in your truck anyways while you're, if you're making a long trip short trips ain't so bad um and that's just nothing with the mount and integrity of the mount it's just on your motor you know or somebody's stealing it or anything like that so it's so simple to take it off it wouldn't take nothing for somebody to steal your your motor but uh other than that we're gonna get james we're gonna get him loaded up in here and take it on out and uh i'm gonna give a camera over to him and that way we can let y'all see how, how the boat performs yeah All right, well, we got the boat in the water. I'm gonna hand the uh, camera over to James. He's gonna go out here and run it and just kinda, you know, let you know what he thinks about how it handles on this boat. And uh, you say you got an app to yeah, get a I got speed an test? App for speed. So, all right, well, I'm gonna give you to James and hey, don't crack my lens. Yeah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's test this thing out. Like Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. Hmm. Let me put this thing right here. 
here for a second. Well, we got her down. What's up? Let's see if we can get it locked in. All right. Let's just test it for. speed let's do a turn let's turn it the other way uh oh here we go Handles it really well. It's solid. Pull backwards, wide open. Spot lock. That's why you don't want to hit spot lock standing up. So you can see how it handles it. Let me get my phone. All right. There we go. So this is zero miles an hour. Let's go ahead and hit it off a spot lock and see what we can do. like we're running much faster than four miles an hour. We have got to be running faster than four miles an hour. I do not know how accurate this thing is. I haven't used it before. I just feel like we're running way faster than four miles an hour. Probably not a very accurate app, is what I'm thinking. But it's saying four. I wish I had something else to compare it to. All right, well, we got the speed. Let's, uh, let's do some, let's stand up in it. Let's see how it does, see how it handles standing up. 
Put my phone in my pocket. In my pocket. That's wide open. Wide open backwards. All right, we're gonna go. All right, I'm gonna go forward real quick. I'm gonna shift it all the way forward from reverse. I'm coming towards you. That's wide open. Yeah, that's a... Well, that's pretty much the end of the test. Pull this thing out. All right, guys, well, got it loaded back up on a trailer, getting everything torn down, getting up the road, it's getting dark. But uh, James, what was your... What was your thought, your experience? I mean, I loved it. I mean, it does really good. As you can, you'll possibly, you'll see in the video, us doing 360s and everything like that, standing up. Like I said, I don't think the app I have is the greatest for miles an hour. I really feel like we're running more than five, four miles an hour out there, but yeah, it doesn't break you down any. But sorry. I mean, you. <laughs> sorry, we're out of breath. <laughs> yeah, I just had to turn this hill. thing up a hill. <laughs> But I mean, you was going wide open backwards and then slamming it forward. I mean, you're testing the durability of the mount and absolutely no flex, no flex. It's stout, solid as a rock. So yeah, I think, I think it's going to be, I think people are going to love it and it's just going to open the door up for people, you know, with the, the 14s to be able to cleanly put a bow mount on there. I mean, you don't have to drill no holes whatsoever. All the hardware is supplied, all stainless steel. So if you fish saltwater, this is a perfect mount. You don't have no, nothing to worry about uh, corroding or, you know, in, rusting, any of that stuff. So, I mean, it, with our stern mounts, all that, you don't have to worry about none of that for saltwater stuff. So, but other than that, guys, you can click the link below. You can purchase the, uh, I'll have a link for the bow mount. I'll have a link for the stern mount. And then also check out just everything else on our one objective page, apparel, hats, um, all that stuff so actually right now we're still doing pre-orders for our leather patch our leather uh, patch hats yeah our limited hats so um i think it's next week that we're ending that so if you get time i'll put a link there where you can go order one of our leather patch hats as well um we got t-shirts all that stuff so other than that guys uh we got that done it won't be long the 14 will be out um the buy mount for the 14 so just stay tuned uh also go uh, on oneobjectivebf.com, you can sign up for our newsletter. We only do it on Thursdays. We do it once a week. We don't bug nobody with it, but we have sales. We have our new products, our new videos, shows, shows that are about to come up. Uh, you get all kinds of One Objective news. So, but other than that, we'll talk to you later. Guys, y'all have a good one.
Jamestown, bye. See you on the water, and goodbye.